What's up YouTube? Mark and Mike here from Vape Call. Welcome to uh, our Vape Call vlog. Vader voice. Hashtag Vader voice. Don't forget to send your Vader voice videos. Yep, send us uh, your Vader voice videos. Hashtag Vader voice on uh, Twitter or Facebook or whatever social network you prefer. Yeah, and you'll be included in our next, well, the next video we make after we receive that. Totally. Thanks, man. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got some stuff to talk about this weekend. We're going to have a giveaway. So definitely be sure to stick around for that. A giveaway? A giveaway. You think we covered giveaways enough in the last video? Not at all. Not if at you all. didn't see that video and you want to see us, well, Mark just blast me for talking about giveaways too much. <laughs> you are the crazy Eddie of vaping. <laughs> we got blowout giveaways. Just uh, throw in the search bar. <clears throat> What was it? VK Review, The Milkman, which is not Carl Malone, right? We should address that. Yeah, it's not Carl Malone. It's... I did put that in. Yeah, yeah. Carl Malone's the mailman. Not the milkman. Right. Moving on. Neither of us realized that, I think, until afterward. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I agreed with you. I'm like, yeah, totally. I know He's the milkman. Right. How, is, how does the, the, man, the milkman... It's kind of funny to think of a dude <laughs> dunking a basketball like in the milkman. Right, yeah, it doesn't make any sense at no. all. The mailman, it's got some of the same letters in it. Yeah, it's close enough. Good enough. All right, so uh, as always, we're going to talk some advocacy. Uh, if you're not um, hooked up with Casa or the Vaping Militia, be sure to check out their websites. We're going to link them below and their Facebook pages um, because they are actively fighting for your vaping rights and you should be partaking in the calls to action from Casa and the various things that uh, Vaping Militia puts out. If you're in Indiana, recently a bill was passed. Um, I'm not going to go over the bill completely. Uh, but it is House Bill 1432, and it has crippled the uh, ability for vape shops to produce e-liquid and uh, other things. It's a super, super restrictive bill that I'm going to recommend everybody check out. We're going to link in the description below again. Um, I'm not sure what you can do if you're in Indiana at this point because it has passed, but I'm sure, um, you know, contact some representatives. I'm sure that there's some different things you, you can do to try to... Definitely contact senators. Yeah, yeah. If it's an email, a phone call, uh, or a letter, phone call's the best. Yeah. Explain, give the, tell them your story about vaping, why you do it. Uh, be polite and respectful. I mean, but a phone call's better than a letter, <clears throat> a letter's better than an email, and an email is better than nothing. And you can always do all three of them, too. Absolutely. Uh, because it was signed in, I'm not sure what can be done. I think that Well, there, you there can is... stay tuned for yeah. more bills that are more than likely... Yeah, if this is the, the if this is the first bill for Indiana, I'm sure it's going to be adjusted and there will be more. So uh, if you are in Indiana, definitely check that out. But as or always, advocate. Any state, really. Any state. Now, let's yeah. be honest. If it's happening in one place, they'll yeah. try it everywhere. <clears throat> it's pretty scary that it can happen. And when these bills go into law, they happen late at night. They just get signed in randomly. It's not like something that's really official. I mean, it is official, but it's always like, you know. Yeah, they didn't exactly stand on the uh, the steps. They don't the... <laughs> tell you what's going to happen. They all of a sudden just guess what? Yeah. Here's a new law that you have to abide by. And if you're a manufacturer or a vape shop, um, I'm not really sure what you're going to do because this is super restrictive. I'm going to ask you so. to continue without me for just a moment. Sure, sure. Uh, so yeah, Casa Vaping Militia, check those out. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, some things to go over. And I can't remember them for some reason because Mike walked Get away. away. Give oh, but before the giveaway, we have a friend. Let's do some shop news. Shop a, news. Oh, shop news. Yeah, that's part of it. it. Yes, this is part of our shop news. Uh, a friend, very close friend of mine, and mentor, in uh, an artist that I was actually a fan of him before him and I became friends, which is kind of cool. Fanboy. So, Totally a fanboy. Uh, Steven Serio, who is a artist in Syracuse, is gonna be coming to our shop to do a book signing for his comic book, uh, which came out on, uh, it's published by a Wow Cool Books and Alternative Comics. The name of the book is Sunbeam on the Astronaut, and it's a pretty cool, psychedelic, trippy comic book. So he's gonna actually be here signing copies. He's gonna have posters and prints and books for sale. Um, we're going to put Steve's info below, uh, stevencereo.com, and the posters that he's going to have here. I'm not sure the exact selection, but some of the people that he's done posters for are The Residents, Ministry, Mo, King Crimson, Les Claypool, um, 
and tons and tons and tons of other bands. So, really cool artwork. Yeah, super cool artwork. Definitely really worthy trippy. of hanging on a wall. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, when I first saw his work, what kind of drew me to it was how complex it was. Imagine H.R. Giger, but not skeletons and skulls, but giraffes and cake and bees <laughs> and all kinds of fun stuff. So it was really, I really enjoy it. I much different cool. than H.R. Puff and stuff. Much different than H.R. Puff and stuff. But much like H.R. Giger, it is very dense and very psychedelic, so definitely check that out. Uh, he's going to be here uh, Saturday, May 23rd from 3 to 7, so if you're in the Auburn area, by all means, uh, come down, check it out. Everyone will be hanging out. Uh, yeah, get a book, get it signed, and uh, there you go. Again, that's Saturday, May 23rd from 3 to 7. Vape Call, Auburn, New York. 12 South Street. I was, thank you for picking that up because <laughs> I almost said 130 Main Street, <laughs> which I think is our Cortland address. It, yeah, it is, very it good, is. very good. There you go, I forgot our Auburn address, but I remember the Cortland address. So Next to the all but abandoned Shines Theater. Yes, the historic Shines Theater, which is nothing's happening with, but we will not be putting that info below. No, there's really no there's info. There's no info to have. So, there you go. <laughs> I was recently out at our Cortland shop, actually, uh, last week yeah. after we recorded. And uh, Cortland, you're a cool little town. There's a lot of places to eat. Yeah. A well, lot of yeah. really cool places it's to eat. It's a college town, lots of uh, yeah. young folks. Yeah, I got to meet up with some of the local shop people that are around the area, and they're all super cool, so that's good. Um, and The dude that works there is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, the dude that works there, Rich, is a really cool dude. So what's up, Rich, if you're watching this? How you doing? <laughs> you think he is? Probably. Yeah, I think he does. Mm -hmm. Late at night. Late at night. Watches With a, one of those looks like... Yeah, critiquing us. Yeah. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> What's funny is I walk, I walk in the shop, and I haven't seen Rich in about like a week or two, and I walk in, and he cut his hair. Yep, I did notice that. He randomly just cuts his hair. But it's, I mean, Rich has pretty long hair, and then he just, he grows it out super long and then cuts it and throws me off completely, so thanks, Rich. I got a little trim this morning. Did you? Yeah, nice. Now, should we talk beard hygiene? <laughs> there was some we? recent stories about oh. uh, poop in your beard. But they were disproved quickly after. Or kind were of... they? <laughs> All right, I'm sure some people do have that in their beard, and I don't want to know why. <laughs> but it, well, I don't know about disproved, but sort of debunked. Yeah, it was pretty funny though. Like it, I popped up, of course, on my Facebook feed because that's where most credible news comes from. And it's like, <laughs> and it's just a guy with some nice, you know, full beard. Like, do you have poop in your beard? Question mark. Poop gate. <laughs> I mean, right. Yeah. We should mention Steve Serio yeah. has a pretty uh, yeah, Steve heavy has duty an beard. Impressive, impressive Almost beard. Maybe Viking like. Yeah. I did it again. Yeah. This. Oh, there you did do it. Mark loves that. I do. It's my favorite. Oh, we gotta stop talking. It's my favorite. <clears throat> yeah, Steve has a very impressive beard. Yeah, so stop I can only uh, if you like comic books and or beards and or art. Or music. You know, also too, he's a, he's a filmmaker and a musician and in the info below we'll put all that. He has a movie. Or the that search bar above. Or oh, the search Type bar above. Yeah. Steven Serial, you'll see some uh, pretty interesting videos. Yeah. Definitely. Hit into the mind definitely of the man, the myth. The artist, the filmmaker, the illustrator, the legend, the musician, the serial. I learned that uh, legend is a cool phrase they use in Australia. Like they say, you're a legend. Really? Instead of like, you're cool. Really? Yeah. So you're a legend. So I'm like, Mike, you're a legend, dude. You're totally. I mean, you say that all the time, so I, I guess it's yeah, not just I Australia. I just call you out of nowhere. I'm like, Mike, what's up, man? You're a legend. Right? How are you doing? <laughs> Talk about your motorcycle, man. You got a motorcycle. I got a motorcycle. It's right there. Yeah, I can see it right here. It's we nice. We keep looking at it. It's out there. I'm not going to turn the camera. Just because well, nobody about cares it. that much. It's a motorcycle. It's got two wheels. Big motor. It's hot when you ride it. <laughs> okay, well, what kind of motorcycle is it? It's a Vulcan 750. What it's a cruiser year? style. It's a 92. Sweet. It Sweet. runs beautifully. Yeah, it's a nice little bike. Very cool. I like how you call it a nice little bike, like I bought some kind of scooter. No, it's, it's a nice bike. Yeah. I like it. It's fun to ride. I don't ride motorcycles myself, but... I have another YouTube channel, but there's only one video on it, so I'm not even going to bother saying what it is. But I do plan on doing some... Moto vlogs. That's really loud right there. 
Moto vlogs are kind of neat. You strap a camera right on the side of the helmet and you go, and, and they're kind of fun to watch. Yeah, you sent me the video of it. It's pretty cool. Definitely, it's like a POV shot of riding a motorcycle. If you never rode a motorcycle, it's kind of interesting to see it you mm -hmm. know, 1080p going down the road. Yeah, totally. But yeah, in the future, I'll give you the address to that when there's something worth watching. So if you're looking at a stoplight, do you like take your helmet off, take a toot, and then put your helmet back on and go? And that would be time consuming. I can't flip be, it up and do that. It will be off. Can you do it? I have done that, yeah, because I have a modular. So the front, oh, so the you whole can do the front, front of it? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And I have. And I've ridden with other guys that do the same thing. They wear the half helmets and they yeah. just vape while they ride. Nice. Vapor is very cold when you're moving down the road, like 60 miles an hour, because it blows some vapor on your hand and you feel that it's cool. Yeah. But when you're in 60 mile an hour wind, it, <clears throat> it's cold. It's a really... And the cloud just rips past your face. Well, and if you have a beard, basically your beard is wet afterwards, <laughs> yeah. and then it's colder. It's, uh, it's interesting. So do you have to adjust your builds for uh, motorcycle vaping? I haven't. I've been using a tank because the drippers kind of they look, <laughs> seem like it would be impossible. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys like riding down the road with no hands and texting. So I'm not going to drip. Do people do that on motorcycles? They do, unfortunately. Jesus, really? It's wow, it's really not dangerous. Safe. Hey, uh, motorcycle safety guys out there, don't text in motorcycle. Yeah. You shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't drive anything in text. Yeah, really. no, that's a bad idea. And don't uh, don't ride your bike and or motorcycle or car and drip. That's a bad yeah, idea too. Yeah, don't drip and use drive or text. Just use your brain. Yeah, you use your brain and, and a, a tank. tank. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> the best advice we can give you <laughs> yeah. is uh, use your brain. I can't believe I just saw what I saw. I just saw window. that too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now they're looking at us like yeah. we're in a cage at the zoo. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's weird. It's humans. Occasionally, people walk by and just look at the and at us recording. Well, you have to imagine really walking by sense. a big, twelve foot wide window yeah. and seeing two guys sitting in front of a camera laughing hysterically as you're watching them through a window. Yeah. But really, it's like a zoo I, on either side of the window. I right haven't now. looked over to confirm, Mike. Maybe you'll be able to do this, but I think she's yelling at us. It's, yeah, I can't tell, but I, I could tell that she was pregnant. <clears throat> and wearing a belly shirt. <laughs> and she may or may not be smoking a cigarette. Oh. Oh. So maybe she's not pregnant. No. Nope. Benefit of the doubt? She's proud. No, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Have you seen the debauchery that walks past this window? <laughs> she may have been pregnant. I'm just putting it out there. I think she's trying to get your attention. Maybe she wants to come in and buy a vape. Guys, that was really weird. <laughs> they were like, they were, they were dressed really different. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's a nice way of putting it. They were dressed yeah. interestingly. And they just stopped and they were sort of shouting at the window. I don't know if they were talking to us or yeah. themselves. And there's, I wasn't there's really traffic, gonna... so it's loud outside. I've learned that if, if you if you uh, if you engage like that, like yeah. or if you actually like You're asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble, yeah. So just whatever. Let them walk by and don't make eye contact. No. Yeah. No. But anyway, that was sketchy. But you know what's not sketchy is giveaways. Giveaways raw. <laughs> so we reached the number of subscribers that we said that we wanted to get, which was what, 50, right? We wanted 50. We wanted 50, we got 50. So we got over 50. Here's Thank our you. giveaway. Uh, we are going to be giving away a 30 ml bottle of our premium line juice. You get to pick your flavor. Um, and the way to enter the contest to do this is to share this video on Facebook with the hashtag Vape Cult Contest. Vape cult contest. Hashtag vape cult contest. That way we can search through Facebook. We can see, um, you know, all the, everyone in, within the hashtag and do like a randomizer or whatever and then pick a winner and let you know. You will only be entered if you use the hashtag. But if yes. you don't use the hashtag, it, it, it won't be possible to track it and you won't win any free juice. And we're going to keep it on Facebook because if we start doing like multiple social media things is just going to get confusing so just do it on facebook alone and that'll be good please please uh and it's going to reduce man how long are we going to run it for uh let's do it for a week for a week yes so today you is have till next thursday till next thursday to do it thursday, we could probably thursday. announce the winner actually on the video yes we will yeah, announce, we'll announce it. it on next week's video yep there you which go. will be thursday the barring any unforeseen circumstances yes. but the very next video not the very next video next week's video because we'll probably have one come out before that in a few days um yeah 
think that covers it. We'll put yeah. the, the details below, but all you gotta do is share this video and yep. use the hashtag. It's really easy. And we'll have more uh, giveaways in future episodes. Yeah. Very soon, actually. Definitely. Definitely. We like giving you stuff. We do. We do. do we any other shop news? I can't remember if uh, anything came in. There was a sub tank that came in, right? A sub ohm tank? A sub ohm tank, yeah. We got the Heracles, we got the Vision, we got the Arctic, we got the Kangers. What do you think about the whole sub-ohm tank? I like sub-ohm tanks. You like them? I love them. If I got to use a tank, that I wouldn't use a non-sub-ohm tank at this point. No, I used to stick with the Kanger sub-ohm tank. Um, <clears throat> I had the, the uh, what, the Aspire was the first one that came out, right? The Atlantis. That was, or the, the Atlantis, that was kind of the one that started everything. Yep. I actually gave it to my sister-in-law, um, who recently started vaping, and she kicked the kicked the cigarettes and went to vaping. So, shout out Ashley, what's going on? And um, yeah, I use the the Kanger. I think is my my go-to. I don't use the coil heads though. I rebuild. Have you tried the Arctic or the Heracles? I have, yeah, and they definitely they're nice. They're nice. I just I just don't like having to mess with coils. Or, so I, you're I mean, not not coils. The the heads. I, I use the uh, rebuildable section on it. See. I don't know, for me it's just easier. I can just toss new cotton in, I can adjust my build depending if the VG level and everything. But it's not easier than screwing a coil in and putting it back yeah, together. that's true. That's the whole reason I like them. It's because if I'm driving, right. mainly driving, but if I'm not here, if I'm somewhere where it's not convenient to drip. Basically, if you want to use your hands to do anything else and you don't want a bottle of juice in your pocket and stuff like that, right. that's why I like those tanks. In the, at least in the Arctic, the, the coils last me probably three weeks a piece. Wow, which I'm really? really happy with. Nice, nice. I vape it uh, an average of <clears throat> between 40 and 50. I'll go up and down a little bit. Nice. Um, 50 watts seems to be the sweet spot for flavor on the 0.2 ohm coil. Wow. In my experience, everyone's different. Nice. But I really like that tank. So when I ride or drive my car, right. or if I'm just somewhere where I want to carry a smaller mod, like that size mod with a tank on it, that's how I roll. Nice. Yeah, I, the anybody that likes the Atlantis or the Kanger sub tank or any of those, that's cool too. Yeah, with the, with the rebuildable section for the Kanger, I use uh, nickel wire and just do a temp control coil on there. I've never tried that. It works nice. I like it. Um, I know like the Delta offers uh, coil heads and an RBA section. They had to purchase separately, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, so, hmm. yeah, it's a money grab. It's a money grab, and they grab my money. Sometimes I just say stuff. It doesn't really... No, it is. I mean, they could have released the Delta with the RBA section, but they didn't. They were like, you got to buy a stepper for 14 it's bucks. It's true. So that's how they get you. Recently, I've liked this Hobo RDA, by the way, that I got from you. Yeah, I purchased that uh, online. Clone Life. Right? Yeah. And, I like uh, it. It's got a really deep well, yeah. maybe deeper than the Mutations well. Yeah, it's pretty deep. It's a good um, well. So I can put it in my pocket. I can flood the sucker, put it in my pocket. That's the only way you can drip and drive. You just flood it before you're driving. Yeah. And if you're not going far, it, it does last a while. I do that with, cool. the, with the marquee. Hey, what are you vaping? We didn't talk about that. I'm vaping a secret, secret Ooh. vape lab creation. Nice. Which is not steeped enough. So I don't think I'm really getting an accurate uh, representation of what it will taste like when properly steeped. Nice. It's got some black cherry in it, that's all I'll say. And right now it's marginally good. Awesome. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> same setup, I'm not even going to bother. Same there setup you go. as usual. I've got uh, Fog Boss, uh, Bobby Two Fingers, uh, which is a part of the sample pack from thedripclub.com. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> What's up, the Drip Club? What's up, Drip Club? And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe we could talk about you more for free. Totally. Yeah. Why not? So here, uh, I'll tell a quick story. Tell a quick story. I went to another vape shop okay. in another city, uh, right in the middle of a 200 mile bike ride the other day. Nice. <laughs> and I didn't notice till I got there that I was wearing a Vape Cult t-shirt. I have Vape Cult all over my mod. <laughs> um, so you're sponsored by Vape Cult, <laughs> that's what you're saying? <laughs> it sort of felt that way, but it was funny because the guy behind the counter looked a little bit familiar. We we're about 35 miles from here. Right. And um, 
we were trying all the juice they had to offer, which is really all they had to offer. They didn't have much in the way of equipment other than bongs. I don't like those kind of shops. Sorry, no offense. <laughs> Not a head shop guy. Anyway, all right. in the course of talking to this dude, he's like, hey, I've been to Vape Cult. I was like, that's where I know this guy from. He's a customer at some point. Okay. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, the guy that runs that shop's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, he was talking about me. Was it you or was it? <laughs> really? Oh, I thought maybe he knew Rich. I remembered really? when he was here. Oh, nice. <laughs> he didn't recognize me. Oh, incognito. Yeah. So somebody gave you a compliment to your face did not knowing that it was you. That's nice. Yeah, it was kind of cool. He could have been like, oh, that dude's total, you know. That would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have still... been pretty funny. <laughs> I would still be laughing. <laughs> guy's a total a-hole. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was my story. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was at a, a shop um, that I came across. Same deal. Not necessarily a vape shop, more of a leather. Uh, <laughs> like various accoutrements with American flags and such. So, motorcycle style or S&M style? Uh, both. Cross between the Cross between the two. And they had some vape gear in the back in the 18 and over section. <laughs> they had the saloon doors you had to go through, which was kind of funny. I felt a little naughty walking through there, even though I'm 34. I was like, oh, the 18 and over section. You know I hate everybody younger than me, right? <laughs> so, I go in the back, and there's a couple of, you know, ego kits and some stuff. Nothing really... Um, no like mechanical mods or anything like that, just basic vape gear. But then I see a whole case of just tons of vape stuff piled on top of each other, no order, no prices, no nothing. And I happen to look up and there's just a wide variety of adult novelty. Adult novelty toys <laughs> just located below of the vape gear. Sorry, I thought I'd just help you with the phrase there. <laughs> and I, Keep it sort of PG. And I couldn't help but just laugh that like, <laughs> just could funny. any of them be modded to actually vape? You, they were from? phallic enough that you could mod them probably. You could put like a sled and like a DNA 40 in there and have just like this big wobbly <laughs> mod. <laughs> That's extreme vaping. It's extreme vaping, yeah, but it was pretty funny that uh, this, their large display of vape stuff was right you know, below the adult novelty stuff, so I thought that was kind of funny. Awesome. I was going to take a picture, but before you went into the adult area, there was a big thing saying that you no pictures, no cell phones, and they had cameras trained at every angle. You so, don't want to embarrass anyone. Yeah, I didn't want to, you know. I did want to, but I didn't want to, you know. Get Some people weren't looking for so, vape gear. No, they weren't. They weren't. All right, man. Tie it up. All right. So there it is. Uh, thank you for joining us for this this week's uh, vlog. Uh, be sure to enter the contest. Uh, we'll have some information below, too, about uh, the book signing with Mr. Steve Serio. Maybe we'll be doing some videos during the signing. Possibly. Yeah, sure. or yeah I can, pictures. Yeah, pictures. I can do it on my phone, too. So, uh, so yeah, enter the contest, and uh, we'll be seeing you next week. Later, boys. Hashtag. Send your video. Send us your Vader voice videos. Later, YouTube. I think someone just waved at me. Uh, are true? we recording? I think are we're we recording? recording. I can't tell. Let's look close. I can't tell. Yeah, let's make sure. Okay, it doesn't help. It'll be right. <laughs> you want me to add that in the bloopers? <laughs>